now find on one side, but it's a good old buck. I don't know whether you can hear it on video, but more bucks just started flight straight over the ridge here. Oh, that quiver lizer. I had it hung up all over this shit here. I was trying to get back and he was, he was only 10 yards right there. I was trying to lean. I went back and I was just about to shoot and then I noticed I had that stick. So I just leaned a little bit further and he was there, right beside that tree there. Oh, that shit's unreal, eh? And I literally, literally only just parked. Not just just there, so. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know, the last video I put up there the other day. He was the first buck I, I come back over the ridge, I got a shot at him. He spun as I shot and I missed him. Yeah, no, he come in like clockwork then, so. That's unreal. Just when I was calling that buck there then, look at your other buck start fighting just in here. So. I'm not really keen on shooting another one, but I'm going to give a call and just see what comes up. And if a big unit turns up, I'll definitely shoot. We'll see what we can drag up. So I rattled over there to get that big fella up. Now I can just hear these fellas straight into it. No idea what they were or how big they were. I'll go back, get some pics of this fella. I'll probably, I'm only parked there, so. I'd say I'll just go get me out and I'll take the whole lot of him. I reckon it'll be the easiest way. And, um,. Yeah, I don't know what to do for the rest of the yard on here. It's only 10 to 4. So, I don't know, I might go chase a goat. Or I'll have a look back up, back up the other end of this place here. And see what other deer are about. I was just watching that video, that last buck I shot. Look here. Only the 18th of March, so I reckon these bucks are going to have a bit of a crack here for this full moon. Then I reckon they'll probably go a bit quiet again for a week or two before they fire up again. Yeah, definitely. If you call an early rut, like I would never really say it's rut, but if you call in this early, sort of before the rut. I definitely recommend giving it a bit of time at your calls, like that's probably been 15 minutes. Um, one Zach got the other day, he took a fair while and a couple had called in before that, yeah, they were 15 sort of 20 minutes before they turned up. So. And the thing is they won't just come charging in, like they, they pay a bit of attention. Early when they're coming in, like just to see who it is, whereas in another 10 days they'll probably just come tearing straight in, not giving a shit who it is. So. Right, uh, that buck pretty much. We come straight up from here to his bed. We come right up. Pretty sure he stopped right here. And I was just sitting beside that little stump just there. So yeah, he's probably only, oh shit, 15 yards I reckon. Front on shot again. But Calling them in, that's one of the biggest downfalls. Hey, you're, you're going to get a lot of front on shots. It's sort of something you can't dodge. You got a rub there. Uh, front on shot does work well. Um, 
I definitely wouldn't recommend it, really. You probably want to have a bit of an idea where you're going to hit him. And, um, yeah, you wouldn't want to be much further than that 20 yards. I definitely, definitely wouldn't recommend trying to hit him front on if they are further than 20, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, so, Zach, when he was a young fellow, we lost a couple. Like, pretty handy deer, hit them front on with his bow and it's been a bit slower and not having as much punch, sort of slowed him up. This is a heavy old bastard. He's definitely no monster, but he's, he's bloody cool, that's for sure. He's got some age to him, though. Right? Jeez, the mass on that thing. It's unbelievable. That's unreal, that. He's definitely malformed on this side, which is a bit of a shame because he would have been. Would have been a crack. God, the mass on him is bloody. That's something, eh? Like, he definitely got a bit of age to him. Massive big body thing. Like, fat as a fool. That's cool. He's unreal. If he was even like both sides, man, that'd be something, eh? Like, it's that malform, but yeah. That's a good bit of a fellow, I suppose. They're bloody, definitely unique big bastards. He's one cool deer. Proper stoked with that. There's another look at that buck. I love him, eh? I reckon he's awesome. If he was. Definitely a bit shit that he's malformed there, but that's how she all happens sometimes, eh? I just still can't get over how heavy he is, like he's fucking heavy. Get some pics. Well only the track's only just down in here, so I reckon I'll just drag the whole lot of him out, put him on the back of my ute. I was well using Molly, still fat as a fool, so that's awesome. Fuck a bit of weight in the big bastard, that's for sure. Lucky shit down hill and not up. I have to turn this off. Just dressing that deer out. Um, yeah, the way I hit him, I put a fair bit of shit in him, that arrow's busted his bloody, there's the arrow there, it's stuck up in his back leg, um, yeah, unfortunately he got a fair bit of shit in him, he'll still get his back legs, his back straps, the cocky down here can give the rest of his dogs, but you see there, front on, I've taken both his lungs, through that one. Uh, I might have actually only got one. I've come through here, across the top of the heart there. Through that, yeah, through there. Yeah, so one lung there, yeah, across the top of the heart. So um, yeah, definitely a pretty risky shot. I don't know where the other half of that arrow is. That's a broadhead stuck up in there. Yeah, he weighs a ton, like fucking killing me trying to get the big bastard up here. It straps the shit going everywhere. I normally got my roo crate on my slide. I'd chuck him straight up. I'll get him up here. I might cruise up here and I'll have a quick look. I'm no real interest in shooting another one. See if I can call a few in and get a bit of footage. I'll shoot a big bass if one comes in. So here we go. Just come up in here to try a different gully. I haven't seen any deer sign at all, but Pretty good mob of females just there. I'd say they'll bark at me. Just want to have a quick rattle up in here and yeah, I'll probably just make my way out, I think.
deer all up on the ridge up there. What happened, mate? Huh? You want to get a bit smarter? You got a bit of a mongrel sword on him too, missing his trays. And... Probably a good one to put an arrow in, really. <laughs> Leave him be. Pretty happy about that. That's fucking awesome. Fresh fucking track. Chuck some rocks in, fucking hope that old dead tree there's enough to pull me. Otherwise I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Anyway, we'll sort her out. Hopefully this works. Well, thank fuck for that. That winch there, that King's winch. This year, I think that's the ninth bog that saved my ass on this year, so. I took a bit of pulling too, there's no way I was. No way I was coming out of that. So. Cool shit. I might tell me you've seen a, a real Andy Billy up at you. These are all billies, but yeah, at the moment, the biggest fella's probably this one that's coming around just here. He's nothing special, really. So, 
Oh mate, he sells them. So. so I only got permission to shoot a real big fella if I see him. I've got no real interest in shooting any of them anyway, to be honest. Hopefully, he's still coming around the corner here, fingers crossed. Cool. No big units, unfortunately. Apparently, the one that I might seen, he's seen a fair few goats, and he reckons it's a big bastard. There's a lot of country here for him to hide in. He did see him right at this exact spot. I was hoping, like Christ, he was going to be in this mob here, but anyway. Hey bud, wait. 